Do you know what? I've come, obviously, I, I'm not going to explain it on camera because I, I think it would be a bit too traumatic for some, certain people in my life. But there's been a lot of things that have happened um, in my life um, that really hit straight to home. I'll be honest with you. I have had um, a lot of chances. In what way? God has given me a lot of chances. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. God's really given me a lot of chances. Again, obviously, I'm not religious. I obviously believe in a higher power, but whoever that higher power is, give me a lot of chance, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they've allowed me to be here up to this day for my kids because I've made a lot of stupid mistakes in my life. Um, and part of being a man and part of being a father is understanding where you made those mistakes and understanding what you did, what kind of mentality you was in and how you need to make sure you're never in that mentality again so that you can be there for your kids. As a father, the most disappointing thing I could do in my life for my kids is possibly making a done decision, not being here anymore, and not having set up something that allows them to live 20, 30, 40, 50 times the life that I live. I would be incredibly disappointed in myself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get you. What do you mean you had, do you not want to talk about it? That you had like second chances? Boy. Is that, for, is that like a close <laughs> miss? I've had a lot. Uh, obviously, as I said, because, because, because a lot of, <laughs> because, <laughs> because of these social media and because I have a lot of eyes on me in terms of my family and stuff like oh, that, right. certain, certain people in my family are very conservative. Um, and to this day, they, won't, they would never know a lot of the things that have happened to me because I just, I just want to go into it because it just doesn't really make any sense to me. It causes more harm than good. All I will say is, I've had a lot of close calls, yeah. a lot of close calls. Um, and I feel like my way of um, progressing from those close calls and giving people advice is that maybe sometimes just take a minute to think about what you're doing. Take a minute to think, is it plausible? Don't get into, and obviously a lot of people wouldn't have seen this, but don't get into a nigger moment. Wait, can you explain that? So, if you had the pleasure of growing up in the era of boondocks, you would understand what a nigger moment is, yeah? Okay. It's when two upstanding black humans, I use that term very loosely, yeah? Two upstanding black humans, come together and due to some petty situation, they allow themselves to draw themselves out of character and create moments that cause way more harm than they were supposed to. And in that same example, in another clip, you'll see the quote unquote nigger moment attempting to happen with a white dude and the white just walked by and says, hey, I'm white. And just walks away. And I'm just like, I get it. We put ourselves in some very stupid situations. And again, learning from the nigger moment is the reason why I'm still here. Okay. Through the grace of God. So that's what, the state of mind? Yeah. So there could have been a lot more situations that I could have reacted to negatively in the quote unquote nigger moment way. And it would have been 10 times worse than it needed to be mm. rather than just letting things go. I feel like us as, as, as black people, we have a very strong ego. Um, and disrespect is like the worst thing in the world to us. Mm. And sometimes you just need to let it go. I get it, you're hurt, but don't, you don't need to, to keep going, do you get it? 